hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com this is sleep hypnosis thursday so basically every thursday i sit on my squeaky chair uh, with a wonky head not my head being wonky but this this thing here and uh, I talk about sleeping I talk about you feeling comfortable about you feeling calm so if you like what I do if you like the videos that I make please subscribe please like the video and maybe leave a comment thank you so I'm just gonna get on with the session and ideally get yourself into a position where you're not going to be disturbed for you know maybe an hour or under and you know if you need to turn your phone off or maybe turn your phone on silent and um, you know make sure things like the oven is off and you know just general things just in case you oversleep just in case maybe you fall into a deep sleep and um, drift away for hours which is possible so on the same side if you do need to be somewhere and you've got an appointment to make or you need to you know get ready and leave the house in two hours or an hour and a half then maybe set your alarm so that you wake up in time the ideal time I guess to do this to listen to this session is at night or at a time when you can drift off into a deep healing natural sleep where you don't need to be awake for anything you can just relax you can just enjoy feeling calm so that could be something that you do or you know you can listen to this watch this during the day where you've got a couple of hours spare it's totally up to you you're in charge and uh, that's it so there's lots of different ways where you can reduce your body um, reduce the stress in your body, reduce even the awareness in your body to the point where you just drift off into a, a natural sleep, just, you know, instantly, naturally, just it's what happens. What I notice sometimes is daydreams can lead me into sleep. It's like just let my mind daydream not about something of, of importance not about something that I'm worried about because there's nothing calming in that but something about just general daydreaming maybe about the future maybe about the past maybe about something that hasn't happened maybe something that I'd like to happen but just allowing myself to just daydream but without telling myself off without criticizing myself without judging without commenting internally on the daydream so just allowing myself just to drift because ultimately you know daydream is the same as a night dream in a sense of your visualizing something that's not really happening 
you know, so I find that when I daydream, especially when I'm sitting in my chair, just sort of sitting back and I do fall asleep. Especially when it's cold outside and it's warm inside and it's a lovely feeling to be able to just relax and let go. Which is why I do suggest that you lie down on a comfortable surface, you know, like a bed or maybe a sofa or a settee, maybe a comfortable chair. Something where, you know, you can readjust yourself if required. But somewhere that you're not going to, you know, you're just going to feel comfortable. You could lie on the floor, but that might not be the most comfortable place to be. But it might be for you. We're all different. We all have different responses to different things. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. Of course, I wouldn't recommend doing this when you're standing up. And of course, you never listen to anything that I do unless you can safely close your eyes. Not that you have to close your eyes, but I guess when it comes to things like falling asleep, unless you fall asleep, you know, unless you sleep with your eyes open, which some people do. I've seen it. It's very strange to see. And then just allow yourself to drift. Allow your eyelids to close. And there's certain ways of getting yourself into a position where you can actually drift really easily. Sometimes just being bored. And I'm quite good at boring people. It's one of my skills. So it's my superpower. Boring people. So being able to bore you into sleep is okay. I figure whatever it takes is fine. So the idea of being able to just be with your body and, and just notice how you're feeling, but without making any judgment, without any criticism, you know, just without commenting anything inside, just being with how you are. And I want to guide you through that right now to start with doing a kind of a body scan in a way just focusing on your physical body and you may notice if you still got your eyes open that uh, I do close my eyes because I do it with you I talk about it uh, for example I say well now focus on your left knee and uh, count from 10 to 1 and I'll be focusing on my knee, my left knee, and I'll be counting from 10 down to one. So I'm doing it with you. And I get very, very tired doing this. That's why I can't, well, I, can, I have done these sessions lying down, but in the past I have fallen asleep doing them, which <laughs> is, uh, not ideal when I'm recording it, if that makes sense. But it does show that they work. And, um, which is good. So, I'm going to just do a counting down session today. There's going to be a lot of counting down. And the good thing about counting down is it's monotonous, it's boring. And not in the same way as counting sheep, because counting sheep is, you know, like an old way to fall asleep. You know, the whole idea is you count sheep in your head, jumping over a fence or something like that. And 
um, you basically just bore yourself to sleep with the tediousness of counting sheep. So, and I did a session, I've done sessions uh, there on YouTube somewhere and my website where I have people counting sheep. But this isn't that session, this is just counting down from 10 to 1. And we're going to focus on each part of your body and count down 10 to 1 for each part. And each number going down relaxes that part of your body by 10%. Or whatever amount you would class as 10%. It doesn't have to be precise. But what it is, is a feeling. A physical feeling, a physical sensation where the stress reduces, where comfort increases, where the tiredness increases in each part of your body. And one of the benefits of listening to these sessions or watching me um, it's not a benefit for, not a benefit for me because I actually feel like falling asleep right now but a benefit for you is you get accustomed to my voice you get accustomed to feeling a certain way when you hear my voice or when you see me on video seeing me my face or you know wearing my glasses or have my little beard or whatever you know you just you get used to it maybe seeing me in a black chair and it's kind of like a primer in a sense it's just it's like oh okay you get ready part of you gets ready or already straight away before you even start part of you prepares to fall asleep part of you sort of says to your mind yeah okay time to drift off into a deep healing natural sleep and it is natural it's just standard standard thing to do just to fall asleep something that we're born to do something that we literally can do as soon as we're born it's the easiest thing in the world to do it's just getting back to realizing that and to believing you can easily fall asleep. So that's it's not to criticize um, or put down any issues that you've had that stopped you in the past because we all have problems at times. And I say, I imagine most people at some point in their life have had problems sleeping. At various levels uh, I have uh, so I still sometimes still do not very often but I have done in the past and hypnosis is a great thing for that some would argue well is it hypnosis you're just counting down you're just saying stuff but that's to me is what hypnosis is not the counting down but the saying stuff it's guiding it's suggesting that you know it's not necessarily that I'm counting down but I'm telling you and suggesting to you and informing you of what will happen when I count down from 10 to 1 letting you know that actually when we focus on your left leg or your left foot or your right foot and counting down from 10 to 1 that foot will relax and every number going down it relax by 10% so at the end of it it's 100% more relaxed and it is as simple as that but I'm suggesting it, I'm telling you it 
I'm letting you know what's going to happen before it happens. And there's, there wouldn't be any point in you listening to this and saying, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to let this happen because you need to be willing for this to work. But there'd be no point you listening to this or watching this if you weren't willing to go along with what I say and fall into a deep healing natural sleep. Because it would be pointless watching this if that wasn't what you want to happen. And because you want it to happen, therefore it will happen. Because your expectations of what will happen has the power to transform the words that I say into something physical happening, into something meaningful. So instead of just being words, it becomes a feeling. It becomes reality in your life, in your mind and in your body. Because I talk about, let's say your right hand and straight away your focus of attention goes onto your right hand. I've not yet said anything about your right hand. Well, I've just mentioned your right hand and your focus is on that. Now I could leave it like that and you would, your focus would be whatever it is. You would just think whatever you thought naturally about your right hand and then maybe your focus then would then move on to something else. But what I do is then I mention and suggest what to do next. So you'd focus on your right hand. Now I'd like you to count from 10 down to one. And each time you count down, your hand will become 10% more relaxed with each number from 10 all the way down to one. So that when we get to one, your right hand will be 100% relaxed. As simple as that. I'm just guiding you through it. There's lots of different ways to do it. Lots of different ways around accomplishing the same goal, the same outcome. And that's the same, I guess, in life. There's always different ways to accomplish the same thing. This just happens to be one of them which is why I do a different session every week, because then I can do different ideas. I was gonna say techniques, but no, I like the word ideas. Give you different suggestions, give you different ways to accomplish what you want. So I'm gonna start now and you can listen to my voice there isn't anything else for you to listen to. Of course, always listen to your body, you know, on a, like a feeling level. You can listen to your body, notice how you feel. You don't have to do anything though. You can just be there. You can just enjoy relaxing. Because you need to relax to go to sleep. In fact, once you've got a completely relaxed body, it's already started to relax anyway. Right from the beginning of the session, your body started to relax. So you're going to feel more relaxed now than you were at the beginning. And that's just natural to happen. It's just, just what happens. It's very difficult to be completely relaxed without really wanting to go to sleep. It's very difficult to feel completely relaxed in your entire body. I mean, you know, deeply, deeply relaxed without drifting into a deep sleep. So really, Once you physically relax yourself to the point where you're so calm, 
and every part of you is just melted and you're just completely at peace physically and mentally the challenge is actually staying awake I'm not going to give you a challenge on this video my most popular video that I've ever done actually is called the um, stay awake hypnosis challenge which is about 20 minutes long and just I ask people to I just talk uh, with some music in the background and ask people to try and stay awake and it's the most popular video I've ever ever made so in 10 years as well so now I'm gonna start it might seem like I haven't started yet but I have started I started right at the beginning um, I wonder if you can actually notice which parts of your body feel more relaxed now compared to before you decided to watch this video or listen to this mp3 and allow my voice to change how you feel allow me to take control of that relaxation part of you that part which completely relaxes your body and your mind to the point where it's very difficult to stay awake and just notice your whole body how it feels And if your eyes haven't closed yet, then just let them close. I love closing my eyes when in a relaxation, meditation, hypnosis, uh, you know, things like that. Anything really, even a massage. I love closing my eyes just and giving myself into the feeling the feelings of deep relaxation that I can physically experience the feeling is so good so calm so easily and there's something special about that I just I just find that the human body is pretty amazing and I say human body because um, those of you may know that I have got a little polecat or ferret called Andre and uh, he's my boy, he's my little, not my son really, I class him as he's just over a year old and I massage him I actually give him a full body massage might sound a bit strange but he relaxes so much and I can really feel that there's healing going on in his body. I can really feel that he's just so calm. It's just really calmed down and he loves, you know, being stroked and being massaged gently. There's something special about having that contact with someone that you love. And I do love him deeply. And there's something about having that contact whether it's physical or emotional and to have that for yourself as well even more so to be able to have that physical and emotional contact with yourself so you allow yourself to feel how you feel you allow yourself to focus on the different parts of your body you allow yourself to experience those feelings not trying to push anything away you know not trying to push any discomfort away not trying to hold on to pleasure not trying to gain pleasure not trying to hold on to it because all of that takes stress it causes stress trying to hold on to a feeling causes stress because all feelings 
come and go. It's just energy and they're supposed to leave. No feeling stays. We never feel the same all the time. We're constantly feeling different. It's natural. It's just the way it is. It's not an opinion. It's not some medical thing. It's just we are constantly feeling something. And that something is changing all the time. But we have a tendency to try and ignore or push away the feelings that maybe don't feel very nice. And then when we get a nice feeling, we can have a tendency to try and hold on to that or chase those nice feelings. And I'm just as guilty as anyone else for that. Well, in a situation like this, there's no chasing good feelings. And there's no pushing away unpleasant feelings. It's just accepting whatever is there without judgment, without moaning about it, without celebrating it. You know? There's no patting ourselves on the back and there's no uh, internal dialogue telling ourselves off and being horrible. There's none of that stuff. It's about just accepting how you feel right now without any added stuff. No added words, no added feelings, because the added words then lead to more feelings of some kind. And this isn't about not having any feelings. It's about just experiencing whatever you experience and allowing those feelings to come and go just to flow through you because that's what they would naturally do if you didn't put the energy to hold them or to push them away just allow those feelings just to be there and just observe it observe, observe how you feel Acknowledge it, say, okay, that's how I feel. But no judgment, no anger, no emotions connected to these feelings, just feelings, that's all they are. In the same way, thoughts, you can just let the thoughts just drift through you. So you're not holding on to nice feelings or feelings that feel nice. You're not pushing away or trying to ignore feelings that maybe don't feel nice, you know, memories or whatever thoughts might be there. You just accept whatever is there and then just let it go. Accept and let it go. And if the thought is something that's important, you can still let it go because it's still going to be there when you've woken up. You know, something maybe you need to do, you know, something that's going to happen tomorrow or next week or something like that. It's still going to be there. The world will still be here when you wake up. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to think about anything. You can really just give yourself permission to let go. Give yourself permission to relax deeply in every possible way that you can imagine. In a much deeper way than maybe you've ever relaxed before. Because it isn't just relaxation, it's also healing. It's giving your body and your mind a signal, a command even, to heal your body and your mind. To do whatever is necessary to 
to make your body and mind work perfectly well for you. So that you can feel healthy, you can feel happy. You can know that you've done what is necessary to help yourself to enjoy your life. And sleeping deeply is a really important thing. It's a really great decision you've made to allow yourself just to drift into a deep sleep. Now, you may notice as you listen to my voice that You'd quite like to just drift off now, if you haven't already. And maybe my voice becomes more distant. Maybe it seems like the volume has been turned down. But it hasn't. But that's just how your mind is now operating in a way that you feel more distant. And even though I'm going to focus on the different parts of your body. It will be really hard for you to give 100% of your attention. To what I'm saying because. As we go forward and the more words I say. The more body parts that feel relaxed. The less percentage of attention can be placed on your body because more of your attention starts to drift off into a deep healing natural sleep and this is something that you really can enjoy experiencing the pleasure of knowing just how easily you have really let go and how easily you can enjoy knowing that falling into a deep sleep is the most natural thing in the world. And those body parts that I'm going to mention in a second are already relaxed. So counting from 10 to 1 will just make them feel even more relaxed. And every body part I focus on will cause your mind to feel even more relaxed. And the more relaxed you become, the sleepier you feel. Naturally and easily drifting. We start on your head, focusing on the top of your head, counting from ten down to one, ten, nine, eight, six. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Focus in on your forehead. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Focus in on your eyes and eyelids, and the muscles surrounding your eyes. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Now focus in on your jaw. Including your mouth and the sides of your face. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Now focus in on your throat. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, focus in on the back of your neck. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Focus in on your right shoulder. Ten. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now focusing on your left shoulder. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Focus in on your right arm. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Now focus in on your left arm. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Focus in on your right hand. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, focus on your left hand. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Focus in on your chest. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now focus in on your stomach. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Now focus in on your back. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Now focus in on your right leg. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now focus on your left leg. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Now focus on your right foot. Ten, nine, eight, seven. 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Now focus on your left foot. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. And now focus on your mind. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. One last countdown for your entire body. Mind. I want to get to one if you choose, you can just sleep deeply. Ten. Sleep deeply. Nine. Sleep deeply. Eight. Sleep deeply. Seven. Sleep deeply. Six. Sleep deeply. Five, sleep deeply. Four, sleep deeply. Three, sleep deeply. Two, Sleep deeply. One. Sleep.